your way. He's going to take a shot at Cal. How can he take a shot at me? Can you see me? Haha, <laughs> that's a natural one to hit Callum. <laughs> that's going to miss Callum. Tuli. All righty. Uh, since I don't know where the fuck Duncan went, because he stealthed out of here, I'm going to move right here. Because he dunked out? He, yeah, he dunked out. And then that puts Raza within range. I'm going to magic missile this bitch at a second level. All right. This bitch being Raza? Yeah. All right. Four magic missiles. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. It doesn't roll right on fucking. No, well, another Beyond, three, four plus three. All right. I'll just do it on here. You just click three. it three more times. Eh. So eight plus, plus one. Eleven. So plus yes. three. Eleven. Um. Thirteen total. Thirteen. Thirteen total. All right. Anything else Tuli would like to do? No, I don't. No, there's nothing else I can do. That's Julie. All right, Callum. So you making measurements? Ryan, you've uh, you've completely destroyed my plan. Huzzah! <laughs> no, ends. no, not huzzah. <laughs> you can always fireball. Oh, I'm giving serious consideration to it. Oh my gosh! Don't you? Damn, Alan! Don't you dare! You know what happened last time. It caused a bigger explosion. You're too smart! Even knew she wouldn't do it. Yeah, but look at this. See that? Oh, yeah. They're not in. Only, only Rafal would be in range. And yeah. Tim. Uh, yeah, but what about not. the barrels? No, nope, uh, yeah. fireballs at yeah. 20 foot. Radius. Uh, None of the barrels are within range. More party members than you would bad guys. Yeah, no, the problem not if he is goes that from right there. The, the problem is the bad guys have their rogues, so it's basically not going to hit them. So what far, is Callum balls. doing in this instant? Well, he was going to cast hold person, but then you move the, the big bad guy, so that <laughs> it's not going to work. So he's going to move. I mean, the big bad guy is not that big of a problem. The the poison is the problem. Yeah, well, as long as Rafal can keep up with Raza, I think you've got it covered. Maybe. If you hit. He might get away from me. I still see dude back here. You should, yeah. All right, then I'll also magic missile him. All right. What level magic missile? From the one, level one. Right, 3d4 plus 3. That's his cast at third level. Three, five, three. Three bolts of arcane force energy blast into Raza as he steps away from Rafal. Anything else you would like to do? Um, hang on a second. I really think we should gather up and try to do something else. And luckily for you, Lucas nitpicked last round. Otherwise, you'd be short a fifth level spell slot right now. <laughs> I'm sorry? I said it's a good thing you nitpicked last round. Otherwise, you would have just spent a high level spell slot as your oh. teleportation fizzled away. God, it's time to nitpick. <laughs> I think it's always time to nitpick, guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's is trying to kill us. <laughs> the right. is. Go ahead. 
No, it's, uh, it's, I'm done. All right. The Fofarit starts to descend the stairs. Cool. This is the one. I, this is the part I was worried about. Climbs down to Baha'i Rafal and Shaka, and he is going to take a. He has down a potion, so he is going to swing his blade at Rafal. Yeah. Two saber attacks coming your way. Two 23s to hit. Both misses. All right. That's his turn. The other guy is engaged with the ball of war. 18 and a natural one to hit. So that is going to be Alcura. Where are your stats? Immune to poison. Natural <laughs> use. All right. So he's only going to take 13 piercing. And I already told them they do. Get yep. my back. <laughs> Bonus action to disengage. I move back to there. Or fall. Or sorry, Kevin. Okay. Kevin is going to remove her fist from her mouth. And can she climb the tree? with 25 feet of movement. Absolutely, with that climbing speed of yours, nothing can stop you. Okay, Kevin is going to get 25 feet of movement, which means that she is. Do, 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 do. Well, it looks like 20 feet of movement gets you up to the tree, so you can get five feet up. Yeah, from five feet up, she can't. She's at the lower branches, she'll worry about it later. Uh, then she will hide. For a bonus action. Thirty-three, and then she is going to aim at this favorite um All right. attacking fall. Alright. I get advantage and I'm going to actually use the right goddamn crossbow. <laughs> I think you mean the light goddamn crossbow. The light goddamn crossbow. 30's gonna hit. Roll that sneak attack damage. Hell fucking yeah. Oh. Damn. Awesome. Yeah, he's Can you roll again just to see if you get a crit? No, I already... Yeah. She rolled with advantage. Alan's granting her triple advantage. Anything else you would like to do, Kevin? Uh, That's no, the power of infatuation. <laughs> how's, uh, how's that guy looking? That's the first hit he's taken. Well, fuck. Uh, nothing. All right. Rafal, before you move. go... Oh, no, 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 no. You see Raza reach towards his wrist where you see nothing affixed, and he draws out two blades and throws them up at Shaka. Oh. Damn. I wanted Shaka to take that guy's attack of opportunity, right? That's going to be a 14 and a 17 to hit Shaka. Yeah, those both hit. It's going to be 10 piercing damage to Shaka. He gone. All right. And you see a stupid smirk across Raza's face. Well, I take it you don't like the terms of our negotiations, then. Then I suppose we'll have to renegotiate. Rafal! Rafal's going to take an attack of opportunity from this guy, and he's going to charge. Right. Charge? Give me a 26 to hit. For 11 piercing, and they need a con save. I used my reaction to use the unicorn horn to boost my AC by two. All right. So that's going to miss. Right on. Because I can't and be taking all the constitution damage. save. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Rafal's going to lay into Raza. All right. 
He is upset. Damn. 18's gonna miss. How about 31? 31's gonna hit. Uh, I'm gonna use my last spell slot and and uh, divine smite him. All right. For 12 more, so that's uh, 27 points of damage. 27 points of damage. It's not like that. Ooh, well, that's interesting. So as you're, as you send this surge of radiant energy across his person, his form shimmers somewhat, and the flames oh. atop his head snuff out, and his whole persona seems to shift. And but a moment, his whole oh, holy energy. shit! As this, this gentleman. Paper? Wearing an eye patch and an elaborate feathered cap with a very finely woven leathered armor that seems to crackle with arcane energy as he's holding this golden hilted rapier in one hand and this bracer on the offhand that looks to be just coated in decorative daggers. He takes a bow in front of you and he says well then i suppose the terms of renegotiation are open i think come it's home time. zara i think it's time we see each other plain <laughs> verader no. would you like to swing again <laughs> Yeah, that was only one swing with Crownfall, wasn't it? No, two. Oh, I didn't have advantage on him, did I? Oh, I didn't see the second swing. It was 18 and 31. I just knew okay. the 18 missed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I will swing again if you let me. <laughs> for Kevin. All right. That's going to do it for Rafal. Oh, shit. I've always wanted to fight Jarlaxle. <laughs> At the end of your turn, Rafal, he is going to stab forward with his rapier. Bring it on. That's only a 16 to hit. That's not going to do it. Nope. All right. So this guy, still inside of the bead of force. How many more rounds are left on that? Uh, at my turn, it would be the last round. No. All right. Shit. That's that was so clutch, Nari. You took him out for 10 rounds. Two guys. All right. I have another bead. <laughs> so Varader is going to pull his rapier back after missing Rafal, look towards his left and to his right, and he's going to point over towards those barrels behind Rafal as he slices forward with his rapier three times in quick succession. Ooh. A 26... A 33 and a critical hit. Against Rafal? Against Rafal. Okay. No, yeah, two of those hit. All right. So the 33 is going to be 10 points of piercing damage. The critical hit is going to be 24 points of piercing damage. Keeping track of hit points with this one. <laughs> Holy shit, what a twist! At least you're happy you punched him in the face. Yeah, I mean, is Raza. Raza never existed. It was all Verader all along, right? That's right. First time oh, you didn't yeah. sock him in the fucking face. <laughs> Well, he's got some weak fucking sauce, oh, bro. So like, that he... makes sense. So he was he was at the fires because there was faux free writ written all over it. And nobody, he didn't order that. All right. He is going to do something for his bonus action. Faux free. Five. 
Okay, I stepped away. What the hell happened to the fiery hair guy? Uh, he's uh, Marauder. He never existed. <laughs> he was a figment so of imagination. Rafal hit him so hard that he lost concentration on his uh, disguised self, and he revealed himself. Agrimar. The guy that is trying to set up your love and take her from you. The yes. Ofari at two o'clock pokes his head up from behind those barrels and looses a crossbow shot with a 25 to hit you. 25 hits. I need a constitution saving throw as you take seven piercing damage. Uh, is this against poison? It is. Oh, yeah, I have it advantage because of poison. You drink that antidote. Also, Lucas, have you already used the bardic inspiration that I gave you? I'm good. I got a 20. Okay. 20 is going to succeed, so you're only going to take 9 points of poison damage. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, Ryan, just for my own sanity a 22 wouldn't have hit right the bless wouldn't have mattered on the 18 not against Verotter. okay yeah all right oh hold on i gotta roll a concentration check i'm good i was gonna say that's exactly what made me think of it <laughs> <laughs> nari this is officially the last round of the forest ball and she's going to tell Tim to go attack this guy on the stairs uh, towards Rafal. And she's going to target that same guy on the stairs, just in case uh, he goes after Rafal as well. And I'm going to use, oh, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to target Marauder. I might not hit him, but I'm, I'm going to try with my... Um, Algebraic Blast. All right. A 26. That one. Again, only a one Eldritch oh. Blast hits of the triage you send over towards him. You can sneak attack with Eldritch Blast? I don't know. Let's I think it has to be a weapon using your dexterity or with the finesse property or something like that. Yeah, okay. I think only the spell. spell. Yeah. The, 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 the arcane trickster is the only one That's that gets arcane that. Okay. <laughs> um, I am going to do my. Oh, no, he's too far. Wait, let me look at the distance. Sorry. So she just needs to take one more level of rope. I just can't decide on which way I want to go with Rogue, which is why I haven't done that yet. Well, there you go. You could be an arcane trickster and get sneak attack with Eldritch Blast. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, he's part of the creepy. So I can't do that. Okay, yeah, that's my turn. Now it's Tim's right. turn. At the end of Nari's turn, Marauder is going to... Run like a bitch. More like a quicken step. Run like a bitch. Like okay. a bitch. Like a bitch. Like a rogue. Like a <laughs> bitch, Ryan. <laughs> As I hate I him. <laughs> Can I get two more attacks with Cognar? Uh, uh, don't forget about Tim. Yeah. Yes. I'm I, said, I said Tim, and then you said right after Nari, so I <laughs> went right before Nari. Well, technically, it still did go right before Nari. Uh, 18 right is the lower of the two. 18 to hit? Correct. Or 18 on the roll? Uh, 18 to hit. 18 meets it. Alright. 46 damage. Four, seven, Another bite and two fists. Yes. See, if, if your robot goes down, it'll give you something to fix. Are you doing it recklessly? Yes, well. Then roll me 60 20s. Uh, wow. 17 points of damage for Cogger. Chris, that motherfucker. Uh, 
19? Looks like 16, 15, 19. Yeah. You're going by 222. Two, two. <laughs> so the 16s are going to miss. The 19 is going to hit. You hit him! That is this guy's got some juiced first. AC there. Yeah, I was going to say. Well, I mean, doesn't the Bulgura have like a plus thing? six to hit? for? The plus seven, thank you. So 23 minutes. doesn't hit that that guy. Sorry, sorry. That, I was just looking at the d20. I wasn't adding numbers to it. A I was gonna 23, say. <laughs> a 22, and a 26 all hit. Yeah. Hey, that's better. <laughs> Matt's going to have to start rolling your own summons. <laughs> I got too many tabs open. I'm sorry. I didn't. I oh, in D&D Beyond, you can 11, put that as an uh, extra. 12 damage. You could, yeah, but we have it. <laughs> Tim, let's go. Fuck him up, Tim. Damage to this guy. He's not liking that. All right. That's Tim. Connor smashed into that guy's business for some damage. This guy is going to attempt to smash back at Cognar with a 27 and a 16 to hit Cognar. 27 hits Cognar. For 12 piercing. Which I don't think he has damage reduction for that. No. All right, 12. 12. Yeah, I wonder how long their potions last. Hmm, probably a minute. They lasted. Like, because this guy, the, this guy back here, still has the thing on his token, so I'm guessing they last a just, while. That's what I was just thinking. I'm like, ah, it's probably ten minutes. That sucks. True strike for ten minutes is pretty good. Until we kill them. That's it. <laughs> I, I like looking pretty injured. He's taking a lot of damage. All right, this guy is still held in place by Callum's spell. And continues to roll terribly. Oh my god. A natural five. Oh my god. All right. Um, just for the. I don't know. Everyone take what a deep hell? breath. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Nagamar's probably going to go down if he gets sneak attacks again. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I am going to charge headlong into battle. Is gonna kill you, man. No, I'm not. I'm not charging headlong into battle, but I'm. I'm gonna move myself 30 feet this way to get Verader within 60 feet. I need him to make me a Wisdom saving throw, please. Verader, Wisdom saving throw. You got it. To me, a dirty 20. Wow, this guy's really good. Uh, I will bonus action heal myself then. Uh, right. Healing word. 1d4 plus 6. 7. How long does the ball last? Uh, it's the ball gone. lasts one. Okay, so that's what I thought, but like, I think I've been keeping a decent track of the rounds. And I thought I was only on like round 7 of my spell, and I'm pretty sure my spell came out before the ball. Well, when we started this session, I already had five down. So it's been five rounds this session, I believe. I thought it, I've been writing it down every time. I thought one of us is cheating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, I mean, if it's been five rounds for you, then that's probably the last round of whole person then. All right. We'll have it break on Callum's next turn. I have five written down from last time, and five written down from this time, because I have different color pen. All right. All right. Agrimar, at the end of your turn, the rotter is going to move. Oh, what a coward. Well, yeah, he doesn't do his dirty, he doesn't do his own dirty work. 
I just don't like that this guy has got such a high wisdom save. <laughs> he reaches towards his offhand bracer, and you see as he pulls the threads of some of these embroidered daggers that come off from around the bracelet, solidify into metal that he then throws, like a just a spray of blades towards Rafal. Rafal, that's only going to be a 17 and a 15 to hit, so those are both going to miss. I still hate him. <laughs> as... Bofurate is going to climb up, take a shot at Agrimar. And you know there's one over there. I'm going to kill this guy for Kevin. Agrimar, this is going to be a 24 to hit. That misses. Thanks. All right. Bonus action. Tuli. Oh, the barrel moved. <laughs> okay, the barrel hold on. Moved. I need to... Alright, sweet. So this guy down here, I'm going to hit him with shatter. Alright. And thankfully, uh, nobody else is in range of him <laughs> within 10 feet, so boom. And he needs to make a con save. Con save, you got Evade this, she said. That's a 14. He fails. 18 thunder damage. I hope it hurts. <laughs> As this boom, like a like a cannon shooting off inside of this closed glass house, reverberates off of the walls, sending some glass that had already shattered from earlier explosions just showering down on the battlefield below. Anything else you would um, like to do? Yes. So I'm going to move, let's see, 30 feet gets me there. Okay. I'm going to move right here. And as a bonus action, sweet, I'm going to throw out my dancing sword. Nice. And that can go, what, 30 feet, right? Yeah. So I'm going to put it right here next to this guy. And All I'm going right. to hit the bastard. All right. Go to lead. I don't think a 10 hits. And it's not going to hit the bastard, unfortunately. It was worth a shot. Uh, that's my turn. Yeah. All right. Callum. You feel the concentration on your spell begin to fade away. All right. Well, Callum's going to keep uh, moving forward. And seeing that he's well within range. Uh, he doesn't have a whole lot of really good spells left because Fireball's just not really looking like a, a thing. Actually, hang on. Where did I start? Right there, right? Yeah. Interesting. Would a lightning bolt along that line? Uh, it would hit the Balgura, the Fofurit, the Red Barrel, the Brown Barrel, and Barrater. Uh, don't hit the Red Barrel. Please don't, yeah, hit, the red don't barrel. hit that Red Barrel, please. Don't hit the Brown Barrel. I hit the Red Barrel on the other wall as well. On the okay. Left. He's just going to do a firebolt at the, uh, the asshole. Which asshole? The big asshole. All right. Agrimar, what's your AC? Uh, 25. <laughs> <laughs> I got to figure out what's going on with my computer. Everything, my Chrome keeps crashing. I'll take it a 17 doesn't hit. 17 is going to miss. As you loosen across the battlefield, he's old.
for an 18 and a 17 to hit Thule. Uh, the 18 hits. All right. Can I get a constitution saving throw? You sure can. Three. <laughs> That's not good. You're going to take uh, 15 piercing and 27 poison for a total of 42 damage. Oh, oh. 42. Oh, I, I'm still, I'm still okay. All right. That was 15 feet of his movement. He is going to. Continue stepping around. Kevin. Okay. Um, while all this is happening, there's going to be like a ringing in your ear, and it's going to get louder and louder ever since Raza became Varader. And she is going to burst out of that tree um, using um, a her full movement, her bonus action, uh, her bonus action to get her there. And she's uh, going to shout, Varader, you killed Kevin. You're the one that, that made me come here. All you just had to do was wait, share the goddamn power. But instead, you had to take it all. And she is going to fire a crossbow. Pissed. I think I did that at advantage. And nope. 25? 25 hits. Yeah. But well, I'm so glad... I'm so glad you're doing your dirty work so that way I can punch your goddamn face and make you tell the truth to everyone. I didn't kill Kevin. I didn't kill Avada. You did. Sorry, was that too loud? Not too loud at all, child. Oh, okay, that's good. Well, well, look who's finally come out of hiding. I had to chase you across an ocean to finally face you for what you think happened, Kevin. Kevin, that's a 30 and a 27 coming your way. Uh, yeah, those two hit. First is um, nine piercing, followed by 10 piercing damage. Wait, uh, nine piercing and 10? Can I uncanny dodge? No, you I can't. Can uncanny dodge one of those? Yes, can I uncanny dodge? It'll use a reaction for the whole round. Never mind. I'm, I'm going to take it. I can take it. I can take it. All Kevin right. can take it. Actually, sorry, let me double check that. No, is, yeah, I don't think Uncanny Dodge is a reaction, is it? I think it's a bonus action, and I use my bonus action. No, I think. I don't, I don't think it's a bonus action. It's either a reaction or it's free. No, yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's a it's a, yeah, it's a reaction. Yeah, Kevin is going Asian, to... It just happens. Gotcha. So yeah, you can uncannily dodge using your reaction to have the damage. No, I just realized I'm right next to some barrels, so I'm gonna I'm gonna sit pretty on this one. All right, Rafal. Uh, Rafal's gonna run to the other side of Verotter and uh, keep uh, just he is like <laughs> like a madman going after this guy. All and, right, and he's gonna say, "Your eyes need to be on me." That's a thirty. <laughs> 30's gonna hit. Uh, for 21. All right. And second attack. I'm gonna roll my bless. Hashtag bless. So the 25 hit. 25 hits. So that's another 20 damage. For another 20 damage. Please don't kill him. Please don't kill him. As he doubles over after the second impact and just, just coughs kill up him. a Please small just kill him. battering of blood across your boots. 
No, I think I think Kevin wants the glory of killing him. <laughs> Anything else you would like to do? That's the end of Rafal's turn. All right. You want to go to? All right. This guy, being finally freed from his prison, is going to start running across the battlefield. Running away, right? Because he, he listened he to the words. He was smart. He ran away. He was so moved by the words of his comrade that he ran away. <laughs> Let's see here. He is going to start making his way. What? He's going to reach up towards his hat and he's going to pluck the quill from it. As he smirks over towards your falling, he's going to say, you know, your efforts here are quite cute, but unfortunately, 